my darlings i hope you're having a wonderful day today so for this first tutorial of the 13 days of halloween we are doing this glowy ethereal avant-garde sprite look that has a whole lot of gems and fake flowers on her face oh yeah let's do this okay i've already done my base face i've used the makeup forever water blend and cover effects custom color drops the Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer and the HD Concealer from Makeup Forever as well as my Cream Contour from OCC. As always, all the details will be listed in the description box below. So starting out, I am picking at the bottom of the sponge to give it some texture and then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Flash Palette using the white and coral colors, mixing them together and then applying them to the sponge with my hand. Now we are going to build up the color on my sides of my face gradually because I want to retain that texture from the sponge so don't go swiping just keep on with patting motions and whatever you do to your face remember to carry it down to your chest neck decolletage however much skin you have exposed next we're gonna mix a little bit more red into it to help deepen up the contour again use patting motions not swiping motions and Carry it down anywhere where you want to deepen or intensify. And I'm putting it on the sides of my nose. And now I'm adding a little bit of gold to the original cream, white, and coral mixture to kind of start putting a glistening highlight on top of that and help to blend in the darker pinky red color. Yeah, it's a lot of padding. And then I'm going to take that color into my hairline if you are planning on wearing a wig or just, you know, rocking your normal hair, I would say bring it in a little bit to your hairline and then bring it down the back of your neck. That way it looks continuous and that way there's no gaps and stuff. If you are covering your whole head, have a friend help you and don't forget your ears because that's one way to ruin a look. Next, I'm taking Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. This first one is Blur and I'm taking this on a fluffy paddle brush and I am just applying this all over my lid as a base color. And then I'm blending it up into my crease and up underneath my lower lash line. Very, 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 very blown outy. Now I'm taking Amelie, also from Melt, and I am using that same brush and going over top of it lightly to just add some color and intensify that glisten to help carry it into the rest of the face. I'm also adding this to the front part of my brows. And since that wasn't doing it for me, I ended up using Sugar Pill's Charmy Loose Shadow and going over it. Charmy and Amelie are very similar, except Charmy is just a touch more pigmented when you're using it with a light hand, if that makes sense. I'm bringing that down on my nose and on my cupid's bow and just all over my lips basically also prior to this i would suggest using some court of lip balm next i'm taking unseen and a e40 blending brush from sigma and i'm just working that in the outer part of my crease bringing it into the almost to the one third mark I just want to deepen the outer edge of my eye and then I'm going in with Enigma also from Melt and a pencil brush. This one's from Sonia Kashuk and I am working that on the outer half of the deepest part of my crease and then I'm going in with the Sigma brush again and blending those two together with whatever is left on the brush. After that I'm going in with Radon which is this electric pink orange color and a fluffy synthetic brush and I am basically just going ham on my inner corner up to my brow bone and then to the end of my nose and the cupid's bow. I'm just trying to tie my eyes into the rest of the face if that makes sense. After that I'm taking Radon again on a bigger brush and lightly dabbing it 
around the areas that I want to intensify. And again, just trying to merge the inner part of the face with the outer part of the face, if that makes sense. Now I'm going back in with Enigma and a pencil brush, and I'm going to go along the lower lash line very, very tightly, and I'm going to kind of bring that color up into the end of the crease right there. Now for the highlights, we're going to take Becca's opal highlight on a highlighting brush, and I'm just going to start highlighting my face. I used three different highlights because, let's face it, sprites are very, 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 very glowy, so I wanted to simulate that by putting all the highlight around my face. So highlight pretty much everything. Now I'm going in with Sin from Urban Decay, which is one of their uh, eight-hour all-nighter highlighter thingies and I'm basically intensifying the glow in areas where I don't have a whole lot of texture. And then I'm taking Fireball, which is the highlight also from Urban Decay, and I'm using that as a transition between my pink contour areas and my highlights, if that makes sense. There's just a bunch of highlights going on in my face. Now I'm taking the Reef Colored Mascara from NYX and applying that to my lower lash line. You may need to do two coats and wait for that to dry. We're also going to take that into the front part of the brows to kind of give a little bit more texture. And if you kind of mess up, you can always buff it out with a spoolie. Now I'm taking Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara and being very, very generous with it, but I'm making sure not to get it on my lid or my lower lash line, if that makes sense. Now comes the fun part. You can do whatever you want with this. You just find some fake flowers and some gems, and you can go crazy on your face. And I like to apply these with the latex-free lash glue, but you can use Prosade or Spirit Gum. And yeah, this is what I ended up with. It was very, very glowy. I like this look because you can basically do any color combination. You could do a dark mermaid, you could do like a dark ghoul, as long as you're keeping it in the same color family. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope that you guys liked it and had fun. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am doing the 13 days of Halloween challenge, so there will be a new Halloween tutorial every day for 13 days. And if you do recreate any of my looks, be sure to tag me on Instagram. You can find me at OJChaos. Know that I think you are awesome, and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Yeah. Bye! Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Bye!